Well, hello. Um, I am here today to interview Diane Williams, who will be the new personal care administrator of the Preston Building. So Diane, I'm so happy to be able to talk to you here today. Hello. You have been a Barclay Friends employee for a long time. So why don't you tell our audience uh, how you came to be a personal care administrator? Well, I got into this work basically, basically by my mother, who worked for Barclay Friends for 40 years. And so she brought me on, and as I started working here, I realized I really enjoyed it. I wanted to learn more, grow more. And so I said, okay, I can do a little better here. I went to school for uh, personal care administration, and I got my license, and so here I am. And so you've been a licensed personal care administrator for how long? Over 20 years. That's a long time. Yeah. Well, let's start by talking about the staff in Preston. Could you just uh, tell me a little bit about the staff and um, what kind of staff will be working there? Well, we will have licensed practical nurses. We'll have med techs, people who assist with medications. We'll have certified nursing assistants and we'll have resident assistants. And um, I think our audience would really like to know what's the ratio of caregivers to residents? What that, what's that staffing level going to be like? It's about three to one. Uh, around the clock, uh, three to one. Is there somebody here 24-7? And oh, absolutely. so what kind of staff absolutely. would be here 24 hours we a day? We will have a licensed practical nurse on duty at all times. Uh, are there going to be any RNs in the building? We have access to RNs in our skilled portion of the facility. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we feel like we need an RN, we will be calling for one. And are the caregivers who are working in Preston, are they Barclay Friends employees or are they outsourced? Absolutely, uh, the caregivers here are our employees. So I think people would really like to know how you will assess prospective residents. How will you assess their needs? Oh, we have several assessment tools that we use. Um, it would be an evaluation from your physician, and then we use several other tools that would, um, like a cognitive screen we would be doing, and also functional screen to see that, to make sure that we can meet your needs. So speaking of doctors, um, I would, I'd like to know, will, will residents be able to keep their own doctors? You may keep your doctor, or you may use our doctors. And why would I, why would I use your doctors? Because they're in house, and just think of a rainy or snowy day and you need a doc. He can come right over. What if a person, say, has hearing aids and needs to have their hearing aids evaluated? How would that be accommodated? Well, we have audiologist services comes in, along with optometry, dentistry, podiatry. So we have those services that come in-house. And what about therapy, if I need therapy? Should you need therapy, we have therapy in the house. And that's uh, occupational, speech, and physical. If I need to go to the hospital, can I choose my own hospital? Say, if I really like Paoli Hospital, can I, can I go to Paoli Hospital if there's a need for hospitalization? You may choose your own hospital with the exception of if it's an emergency and when the, the ambulance arrives, if they decide you need to go to the nearest hospital, that's the hospital they're taking you to. But otherwise, you can choose your own hospital. And how about my medications? Will, will my prescriptions be handled by you? We will, the staff here will handle your prescriptions. What if I want to order my own? You may order your own medications, but if we're assisting with your medications, we take care of everything for you. Okay. All right, how about let's talk about food because it's one of the most reliable pleasures that people have. So tell us about dining services at Preston or culinary services. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, you can, first of all, you can just eat whenever you want to eat. We don't have specific times because we have to geared towards the resident and what their times are for their breakfast, for their lunch, and for their dinner. Um, we have themed meals of various menus. Um, so much to do, so much to eat, and so many choices. Okay. What do you do about someone who has special dietary needs? How do you accommodate those? We can accommodate special dietary needs, okay. such as low salt, mechanical soft, any kind of diet we can pretty much accommodate. How about a dress code? Is there a dress code for dining? You do not have to dress to come to dinner. We want you to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. 
to enjoy your meal. And are there specific times for dining? What if I like to sleep late? There are no really specific times that meals are served because it is resident-centered care. So if you're the kind of person that gets up at 11 o'clock in the morning and you want ham and eggs, that's what you're going to get. And do you provide snacks or drinks if I want a snack or a drink any time of day? Uh, snacks and drinks are available 24 hours a day. So when I move into Preston, will there be, will there be entertainment? Um, what kinds of things will be going on for me to do? Oh, there's lots to do, to do. We have a monthly calendar which we provide to the residents, but we also have uh, people who come in for entertainment, like, like an Elvis uh, impersonator, things like that. Um, so it's, it's a lot to do here. We have a horticultural program. Uh, we have a music programs. There's so much to do. So you mentioned horticulture. Mm -hmm. um, how do you do horticulture in a building? We have a horticulturist and we have gardens. Huh? And the residents here basically plant the gardens and, and tend to them with the support of the horticulturist. Now, in addition to that, all the plants you see, all the um, little plants you see around here, the residents do them. them themselves. And can I have a drink, a glass of Absolutely. wine or beer Absolutely. with my meal or can I drink? We also have specials for that like mimosa Mondays and things like that and occasional cocktail parties. You absolutely can have that. Mm -hmm. And do you allow motorized chairs or scooters if I need that to get around and you know what what requirements would you have for that? Scooters and motorized wheelchairs are permitted here. What we do do is get our therapy team together to evaluate you to make sure you're safe in the use. Can I have pets? Well, we want you to enjoy your pet. Mm -hmm. You can have a small dog, a cat, birds, that type of thing. We want you to enjoy that. So in this time of coronavirus in our world, I know that people will have some questions about that. So. Um, if I move into Preston and, and I'm a resident and I need to leave Preston for an extended time, say to go visit my granddaughter in another state, when I come back, will I need to be quarantined? Absolutely. You'd have to be quarantined for 10 days. And how about yes. can I leave Preston to go to a doctor's appointment during this time of COVID-19? You may leave to go to a doctor's appointment because it's pretty safe there. They're following all the CDC and Department of Health guidelines mm -hmm. in physician offices. So you can do that. And can I have visitors? You may have visitors here. And right now, what we're doing is we're visiting, we're having our visits outside. So we have a plexiglass and you can visit for quite a long time really with your family member. And as it gets colder, we'll just reevaluate how we're gonna do that, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do. Am I allowed to walk outside of Preston during this time of coronavirus? It's encouraged. It's encouraged. And where would I walk if I wanted to take oh, a walk? the garden path. We have a beautiful garden, raised garden beds back here. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. What happens if a resident tests positive for COVID? We'd follow the COVID guidelines from um, DHS, which is Department of Health also. Um, and you would have to be in your room for about 10 days. Do the staff get tested for COVID-19? Yes, they do, and the staff get tested. Mm -hmm. okay. So these have all been really great answers that you've given, Diane, and I know that um, I'm sure you've answered a lot of questions that are on people's minds who are thinking about Preston, but let me end with one overarching question, which is if someone is interested in moving to Preston or in moving their loved one to Preston, why should they come to Preston? What's the reason, what's the reason on the top of the mind reason that you would give why someone should move into It's a Preston? great place to live. It's a beautiful, brand new building. The staff is awesome. They give great resident-centered care. And we all are hands-on here with the care, all the staff here. Um, although I'm an administrator, I help. I do things because what better way to get to know the resident and what better way to meet their needs than if everybody's on board here with the care. So yeah, this is a great place to live, great place to live. Well, Diane Williams, I would like to thank you for 
your answers to these important questions. I know that we have many people watching this who probably will be excited to meet you and to consider the possibility of making Preston their home. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.